Primitive Society Simulator. Is it going to be a win or a bin? Let's have a quick read through of the description on Steam. In this game, you'll be the leader of an ancient tribe, guiding your people to explore the natural world, to hunt and to farm. As culture and civilization prosper, you shall establish a tribal alliance, a community with a shared future of tribes. Now, this game is out on the 27th of February, and I'm, I would like to say thank you to the developer for the early key, so I could get it, get this in before release. Hopefully I'll get the video out uh, on the day at the very least. Um, so what is this? It's uh, probably as it says in the tin, to be honest with you, it's a simulation about a primitive society. You start as what I would probably describe as cavemen and cave women, and you build from the ground up. You start with literally nothing. Shelter is your first priority here. Build somewhere to sleep, build something over your head, some warmth, i.e. a bonfire, and then work out how you're going to establish some food and progress into something a bit more in the, in the sense of controlling animals, controlling weapons, controlling territory, building different things, exploring the world. That's basically what there is to it. And it does a good job. I played three and a half hours and as you'll see for the video, I've not particularly expanded my world out much. You'll see a few buildings scattered around and a few people doing some jobs in the video. But of course, the game, the longer the play, the far more you can expand. But uh, from the three and a half hours, I feel like I can give a very good indication of whether or not this game is any good and can lead into something incredibly exciting as it goes on. It will be out in early access upon release. I'm actually going to do the things I don't like first in this one, which is a slight reverse of what I would normally do. And I have to because when you first load the game up, the opening title screen and the opening menus are absolutely hideous. The game looks like it's a complete complete disaster from the word go. It just doesn't seem to fit the screen and yes my screen resolutions as per the option settings uh, which are minimal by the way there's not too many options to play with which is a negative there's not much that you can actually do. It looks really strange and you're kind of at that point thinking this is going to be really terrible and in fact it almost made me think I don't really want to play this but I have to and I don't really want to be going into any game thinking that it's, it's that bad doesn't really get much better in terms of, of in terms of UI at all overall the game screen in terms of the things you have to interact with and the way things are laid out is really bad it's ugly it's unclear it's in, I don't know it's just very very bottom level stuff to be honest it's poor it does need improving to kind of couple with that there are tool tips and there are to be honest there's plenty of information in the game but the way it's but across to the user is terrible. It's too many words. It's it's not laid out particularly nicely to read. There's numbers that don't make sense in many cases. So they're trying, admittedly, because you've got those tooltips, everything's there textually. And unfortunately, that text to me is a whole load of gobbledygook. And if you're playing this for the first time, it's a massive, massive put of it needs to be simplified. A lot of the wording on here, for example, there are quests and various things come up during the game and reading what they're about. It, again, the wording is just so poor. You're like, well, what the hell's going to happen? Am, am I going to get attacked if I got to do something? Do I, what am I expecting here? It's not done that well in that sense. So for me, the biggest negative user interface, the layout of the screen, which is of course part of that and just the, the wording and, and, and the actual Maybe it's a language thing, I don't know. I think this game, game's Chinese, I'm not too sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think you understand where I'm coming from with what I've said so far. So, on to the good things. Now, this game is really good. Yes, I have U-turned. Loads of bad things I've just mentioned. Well, one main bad thing, but over a, quite a wide area of, of subject matter. But this game is actually really good. If you start to play it, you almost forget the poor user interface until you need it, you know, for reading stuff, of course. But the mechanics of the gameplay are really good. It all makes sense. So you can basically order your tribe's people to do certain tasks via a priority menu. So you don't assign them to certain stations, although you can manually. You can get them to do things manually, which is good. You can jump in and say, I want you to cut down a tree or craft something. Uh, but there's a priority list. People will just go off and do whatever you've specified. You can see it flow through quite nicely. People will do things that you would expect them to do. And it is intuitive in that sense. 
everything works very nicely. You've got animal hubs husbandry. So for example, you can bring in chicks and baby animals from the surrounding area and you can pen them in, make sure they're fed. People have to come in and make sure to top their food up. You can butcher them. You can keep them, keep breeding them. And it's just working from that really. And there's pregnancy, there's uh, family trees, there's mentoring. There's so much in terms of the game mechanics that make you feel like you are genuinely in a primitive society simulator. And that is the key word here, simulator. It has to be detailed to make it a simulator. Simulation is something which immerses you into a situation. It does just that. It covers most bases in terms of religion, healing, shelter, as I said right at the beginning. Just the way of life that you would imagine. You have to clothe people. So you have to make sure that you have the right clothing because there's seasons in this. There's wet weather. You need to make sure they don't get wet. They don't get cold. They don't die of starvation. It's absolutely fantastic. The mechanics are brilliant. I cannot stress that enough. Of course, I can't relay every single aspect of this game in terms of all the things that happen. But, you know, I'd like to, but obviously the video would go on for far too long. But there is a lot in here in terms of what you can do. Character animations are really good, actually. If you zoom in, and well, you don't even have to zoom in that far, but you can see what people are, are doing when they go hunting, when they're in combat. And I haven't actually got to any combat with any other tribes yet, but I believe that to be a thing. But you can see them doing the things they're supposed to do, whether that's crafting, carrying some food back, carrying some uh, stone, some wood, some chopping that they're doing. All the animations are ever so good, and the graphics themselves are you know they're sort of more i don't know voxel more than anything maybe um but i think they're really good in terms of the detail level that you can see there's lots of buildings that you can build as well and it's not just buildings per se there's sort of items you know shrines and uh, bonfires and pyres you could build graves so when people do unfortunately die which they have done in mind because they starve to death you need to bury the dead otherwise the rotting bodies cause disease one of those amazing game mechanic details i said about uh, it's the details like that you know having to build effectively a cemetery because eventually even if they don't die of starvation or anything else they're going to get old and die hence the need for the pregnancy in the game and whatnot uh, to keep your your tribe ticking over in terms of numbers but i think just the level of things that you can have to build is just excellent. There is a tech tree in this, but it's more of an intellect tree, I think I'd probably say, because as you do things, whether that's uh, foraging for herbs or uh, hunting or building, you gain experience in those areas. And the more experience you gain, you will unlock certain inventions. And then those inventions will lead to more buildings and being able to do more things. And that's, again, very true, I guess, to how society evolved over many years. They didn't spend money on a tech tree or spend resources on a tech tree like you find in many games. No, they learned things as they went on. They adapted. They learned from their mistakes and they gained new skills, new buildings from that. And that's exactly how this works. Overall, I think this game has so many flaws. It Overall, it just looks or barring the actual gameplay itself the stuff surrounding that as i've mentioned a couple of times it needs work i don't know whether that's just making it look a bit better making it a bit easier to to, to read the text uh, sometimes the screens get in front of each other certainly on the tutorial levels as you're trying to go through some of the screens that pop up do block other screens and it becomes hard to read things and you can't move them around but if they could just tidy things up a little bit and just make things easier to comprehend textually I think they're onto something here because the game itself is very good. Uh, I will keep playing this actually and I'm going to keep an eye on it progress because of course it's in early access. We will expect to see improvements and bug fixes and whatnot. So I'm going to watch this with fondness and hopefully have time to keep playing it because I actually want to progress my fledgling uh, society because at the moment, as you'll see in the video, I don't get too far and you know, I'm still effectively cavemen. Uh, by the end of where I am after three and a half hours, because I've done all the tutorials and that took time, of course. But I want to, I want to see what I can end up with here. Can I end up with this huge tribe of farms, which you can eventually get, by the way, with sort of plows using big old cows to do the fields? And I don't know, just what, where's it going to take me? I'm interested, really interested. There's so many things just looking at the the tech tree in inverted, in inverted commas that you can unlock, and I want to see what they can do. It looks exciting. Gonna keep an eye on this, check this out. Don't know the price point yet because it's not out. I would say hopefully it will stay between 15 to 20 pounds as a maximum. Any more than that, 
perhaps it wouldn't be worth it. But if it's anywhere between 15 to 20 pounds, I would recommend this 100%.